Hello everybody, it is me once again after many months of waiting. I am finally gonna do another video after 50 years. And uh, I thought, you know, why not do it on the man himself, King Knight? You may notice that it's a bit of a different background because he's, he's a big boy and he needs his space. And also because my camera still came and fit his kingly glory. So I had to just move it a bit, so sorry for the ugly space but uh let's make this quick because i don't have a lot of time to film this because i don't have a lot of space but uh the king knight plush from we love fine has came out like a few weeks ago or a couple weeks ago so uh in anticipation of shovel knight king of cards which is coming out in a few months <clears throat> it's not out yet so stop asking if it's out yet so uh let's get into it. It's a plush of King Knight himself. He's a he's a big boy. He's like a foot tall, I think about. So that's why he can't really see the whole thing, but there you can see is he has big chunky red legs and he has his scepter which is uh a bit too short, but uh I wish it was a bit longer. But whatever. It's it it, it does something. It's a bit mine's a bit warped, but that that's whatever. Um well yeah, it sticks on from magnets, you can do it on the other hand too, if you want to. Uh, out of the way, you thing. So, uh, sorry for that. So, he has his big puffy shoulders that he can bash things into and start spinning on them. Like he does in King of Cards. He has pretty stubby little arm handlets. Uh, he has the big things that kind of attach his cape, the big pepperoni nipples. And he has this big luxurious cape, which is a lot better than Spectre's cloak because it's a bit thicker than Spectre's extremely thin cloak. So I, I like this one more. It's also a bit fuzzier. And this white stuff can get everywhere, so be careful with that if you are worried about that. It can get pretty dirty. Uh, it, it's nice. It's, it's, it's luxurious. It's not as big as it is in like the artwork and stuff, but that's whatever. Uh, his back, if you lift up his cape, it's its nothing special. No secrets. Uh, you, there, there's his upskirt. Oh, look at that. Ooh. And, uh, yeah, you can see his crown. His kingly crown that's not made of real gold. And, uh, so that's thats cool. It's, it's, he's, he's a big, fuzzy, big chest boy. That's all you really need to know. And then just pop his scepter on. So uh, that's that's really about it. There's not really much to go over for a singular plush. I didn't really go into it as much as I did for, say, Spectre. Because maybe I had more to talk about with Spectre simply because Spectre of Torment was out by then. But you never know. See, he's cool. He's a, he's a good boy. He's like $28. He's uh, like all the other Shovel Knight plushes. He's, he's great. It's from Wheel of Fine or... For fans, by fans, whatever they call themselves now. And uh, when I ordered mine, it came with a bunch of extra things, like a like a poster and little big like, blind bag things, which I don't really care about because I'm not into it. But I just I just wanted King Knight. So if you if you're interested in it, I I would say go for it. It's a bit hefty for a price, which is 28, like all the other Shovel Knight plushes. But they're high quality and they're cool. So. It's a definite recommend from from the Noodle Man. So that's really about it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you want to follow me, you know you can if you really want to, but that's not necessary. Just you know, I'll have a link in the description if you want to buy this amazing piece of artwork. And uh, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another 50 years. And doodles.